<laughs> I was just looking at this young lady. She's 25 years old. And she says, why is it that these men, when they were younger, you know, they could have had really good women and had great women in their lives. But now the... <laughs> <laughs> now that their their brain is <laughs> now that their brain is fried up from probably lots of drug use and their old is all get out <laughs> now you want to come chasing after these young girls trying to put them on lockdown you know what she can express it way better than I can she uses a, a profanity that's not my style of, the, of communication but it is what it is. People have their own ways. I just want you to mainly get the point. I'm not showing anything. If you're not paying, this is not OnlyFans. <laughs> Man, that shit is so sad and embarrassing how black men will wait till they get old and crusty to, like, crave love and affection. Like, you could have got it for free when you were young, hot, healthy. Now you old as fuck. You've been doing all these fucking drugs, bitch. You about to see now. And you want to come find a young hot ebony like me. And you think I'm finna love your ass? Bitch, I'm finna do your ass then, bitch. You for the streets, ain't it? How the fuck? How the fuck you 45 and ain't got no hoes? How the fuck you 45 stressing over me, bitch? And I'm 25. Where did you go wrong? Why is you so stressed out? Why is you sending me sad faces and shit when I don't text you back? Bitch, you gonna pay these bills and you gonna shut the fuck up. And you gonna sit down over here. I don't know, I don't know what them bitches who was loving you back in the day, loving you for you was doing, but nah, I'm finna do your ass in, bitch. I'm finna love you only for what you could do for me, bitch, just like you been doing all these fucking women and wasting years of their fucking life. Yeah, bitch, I'ma do your old ass in. And that's just me, though. But that shit sad as fuck how y'all wait and wait and wait, and then y'all wanna drag a young car ebony down. Man, you better go find somebody your age who been playing the same motherfucking games as you. Hoes deserve hoes. Stop motherfucking playing with me, bitch. It's a difference between an old hoe and a young hot ebony. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Man, that shit is so... There's something else I want to share with you. Hang on. It's, um... How they try to say that when Never. a woman... You know, they say... Hold on a moment. Yeah. Man. When they say that a woman loses value as she gets older or as she um, she matures, which I've always felt this way, that as a woman ages, she has knowledge, understanding, she has wisdom, she trusts in her own intuition. We've already learned that, especially when it comes to the understanding part point. Now, you have a lot of people who have listened to that miserable Kevin Samuels and good riddance, as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> he was trying to make women feel that once you hit a certain age, you're all washed up. But no, sweetheart. Now, this Yada Awakening guy, which I don't listen to everything he says, and I don't trust him farther than you can throw him, because he has more than one woman. But anyway... There are some things that he say that are useful and that have some truth to it. So this is a case of eat the meat and throw away the bones. You got to know what, you know what I mean? So let me share this with you. A man without a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of will say women lose value with time. That saying was created by dirty dusty bones that could not keep a woman and they'll tell the woman to manipulate her look you won't stay with me because ain't nobody else gonna want you because you're getting older listen a woman gains value with time because with a woman comes age and substance knowledge wisdom and understanding and an older woman unlike a younger woman knows how to trust her intuition a hundred percent a younger woman is still learning this these men that say they gain value with time lose value because you're no longer able to produce sperm. You men are set in your ways and you can't think outside the box. While the woman is close to God, whispering to God's ears 24-7 for decades. 
So I would rather walk with a woman of substance, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and knows how to trust her intuition than a woman that only looks good to the eyes. So don't let no man convince you that you lost value when you gain value and the truth is they lost it. They can't produce no children. They're stuck in their ways. And the majority of men that say this are miserable and alone. Oh, praise is through to the most high. A man without a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of will say women lose value with time. That saying was created by dirty, dusty bums that could not keep a woman and they'll tell the woman to manipulate her. Look, you won't stay with me because ain't nobody else going to want you because you're getting older. Listen, a woman gains value with time because with a woman comes age and substance, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And an older woman, unlike a younger woman, knows how to trust her intuition 100%. A younger woman is still learning this. These men that say they gain value with time lose value because you're no longer able to produce sperm. You men are set in your ways and you can't think outside the box. While the Oh, so he's saying that a man is not really a prize if he can't produce sperm. You know, when a man has issues with their prostate and they uh, have uh, surgery, either they have their prostate removed or they have radiation to it, because I know my ex-husband went through that nonsense, and uh, they have doggy water now. They no longer have sperm. So is that what they constitute? Being a man is about how many babies you can make? I disagree with that part. Sorry. Right. You know, and, and, and when a man gets to be a certain age, I, I don't, just because you can produce children, because men can produce, they have children in their 70s, 80s. But is the sperm quality sperm? Because age is not just a number. Now, I'm going to make that evident here because if age age matters and age is not just a number that's why they have geriatrics and that's why they have pediatrics now if age is just a number why do people men and women both lie about their age if age is just a number then why do people keep track of birthdays if age is just a number why do you have to be 18 years old to vote and 21 years old to drink because age is just a number after all right It used to be 19, but now they raise it to 21 for you to be able to drink at a legal age. Why is the, e the legal age of con consent to have sex 17 and up? If age is just a number, why do older people have a harder time finding employment? Also, men have to realize, this is the part I want you to listen to, please. They have to realize that their private parts have an expiration date. They are not going to be able to be as spontaneous as they used to be, or they are not going to be able to keep up with their partners like they used to. Once they get into their late 40s and 50s and up, here comes the pills. You got to take a pill. We got to wait for that to kick in. Meanwhile, I don't know. And especially like if you're out driving and you want to be spontaneous and you want to pop it off, like let's go to the bathroom, something different and you just want to pop it off. He can't pull up with that spontaneity anymore. Then you got the pumps, there's injections, there's penis rings to keep up the, oh child please. Anyway, whatever else they can think of to get and keep their uh, erection halfway decent. You know, you got the penis rings. I don't know if you guys are familiar with all of this stuff or are you familiar with the things that men go through as they age and what happens with their corn on the cob or their eggplant, y'all, please. That's why I said men think that they have the right to cheat. I think women, <laughs> truth be told, because come on now, women could handle two and three and four men. Men, after they go to the promised land one time, they have to wait to recharge and wait. I can't do what I'm not no... What about <laughs> my ex-husband used to say, I ain't no, I ain't 20 years old no more. I was like, whatever, child. Anyway, now if your girl wants to roll over in, in bed or she wants to pull over on the side of the road and get a little freaky, 
she's going to have to wait until your pills kick in or you take an injection, whip out your pump and hurry up and put on that penis ring so that you could keep it up and try to maintain it. Whereas a younger man, he will salute her immediately. That's why Cher, she's what, 77 and her boyfriend is 35? Madonna, she's 65 and her boyfriend is 27. They're not trying to deal with all of this erectile dysfunction nonsense. They want a man who's going to feed their ego the moment I walk into a room. He salutes, if you know what I mean. So people need to stop saying age is just a number. Now here's the part about when he said, you don't have any sperm, you can't make babies. So did you know that babies born to older men, they carry a higher risk of having genetic problems? And this is a study from the USA. A French and USA study showed that male infertility, it shoots up after the age of 40. Not only does the lower quality of older men's sperm lower fertility, it also makes it more likely that the baby will have genetic abnormalities. Research finds that sperm quality drops. Genetic problems rise as men age. Kids of older fathers are more likely to have genetic ailments. Scientists have found solid evidence that older men have more random mutations in their sperm cells. Hold on a moment, guys. This is getting ready to fall over. I don't want that to happen. Hold on. They have more mutations in their sperm cells. So just because you could do it don't mean you should. So they're warning that it can cause autism, dwarfism, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and a long list of other genetic de diseases in their offspring. So geriatric sperm. Yeah, no, yeah, you don't want the geriatric sperm because your kids come out. That well, You wonder where all this bipolar came from and all of this ADD, ADHD. How old were these fathers? But anyway, like this man said here, as a woman becomes more seasoned and refined, she has wisdom. She has knowledge. She has resources. And best of all, she has understanding. And she has learned definitely to trust her intuition. Younger women are still trying to learn that. So remember that the next time you want to try to say that women lose their value as their age. Uh-uh. And you heard it coming out of the mouth of men. So there you have it, my darlings. I just wanted to share that with you this fine Friday. Yay! This Friday morning, I want you to have a great day. I know I am. I'm going to have a good weekend. I'm going to go to um, a concert. No, it's not a concert. It's a play in the park, and it's free. So, you know, anytime they save something free, honey, Sheila is so there. Anyway, I love you, and have a great day.